What is going on, guys? We are back with another episode of Pokemon Stadium Kaizo. I just want to thank all of you, first of all, for your support on the Let's Play and on the channel thus far. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, we're definitely going to get into this for our first episode of the stadium for round two. Now, this is where we're going to get into, we're going to start getting into the tougher battles and the longer episodes. So, yeah, just stick around and enjoy the ride, guys. And uh, we're going to pick our team and we'll be back right after this. All right. And we've got our final team. We got Kadabra and Machamp at level 20. Everybody else at level 15. Let's go ahead and get this thing started, baby. All right. We have got the Bug Boy up here for battle one. All right, here we go. I'm opening up with Doug Trio. The Bud Boy is going to start with Raichu. And I'm hoping that he's going to stay in, but he does not. He's definitely going to switch out Raichu right away. And he's going to switch to Butterfree at level 20, no less. So we're definitely going to come up empty right here with the Earthquake. Now keep in mind, Butterfree is bug and flying. It's going to be four times weak to rock slides, so that's definitely what I'm going to go. I'm going to go for next, and I'm hoping for a crit. We don't get a crit, but we get some big damage. It's going to be enough for a two-hit KO. Butterfree is going to strike back with a huge psychic attack. That'll also be a two-hit KO. Now keep in mind, rock slide can miss, so we need to nail this one to knock out the Butterfree. And still have Doug Trio available for Raichu, and that's exactly what we do to take the Butterfree down. The level 20 is gone. Let's see if he's going to put in Raichu or a different Pokemon. He's going to put in Lickitung as his third Pokemon. So he's saving Raichu for last. And once again, I'm looking to save Doug Trio for Raichu. So I'm going to switch out. Now, who am I going to switch out to is going to be the question. It's going to be Electabuzz. All right. And we don't have high defense. And Lickitung's going to go for a slab, a, a slab, a stab, body slam. That does 20 damage. Not nearly as, enough as, as much as I thought it was going to do. But we are going to go for Thunderbolt and hopefully get some big damage here. And we do. We also get Paralysis right there, so no need for Thunder Wave at all. However, Lickitung is going to strike back with Earthquake. And it is not going to knock us out. It's going to leave 7 HP on the board for us, which is great. We do get another shot to do more damage to the Lickitung here. And we're going to go for another Thunderbolt as a follow-up. And that will take Lickitung down into the red... And Lickitung is going to get off this Body Slam to knock us out. But Electabuzz did a fantastic, fantastic job against Lickitung right there. Weakening it down. That way the rest of our team can clean it up. And we're going to put Lapras in for its first appearance. Excuse me. And we can do whatever we want here to the Lickitung right here. But we're going to go for Surf. And we're going to knock it out right here. And that's going to leave Raichu left. Now, we have to be careful because we are at a massive type disadvantage. But my strategy is using Lapras to weaken Raichu for Dugtrio to take it out with one hit of Earthquake. So I'm going to see if, and we're all going to see if Lapras can hang on long enough since we are going to be slower. And it's going to go for Surf! What? It's going to go for Surf against the Water Pokemon. I'll definitely take it. And we're going to go for the Freeze here. We don't get it, but like I said, it does do a nice job of weakening the Raichu uh, for Dugtrio to clean up and win the match for us. Now, let's see if we can hold on from a proper move this time that Raichu should be using. And we hang on. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an easy cleanup for Doug Trio. And it doesn't matter what, what move we choose because we're going to get knocked out by Thunderbolt, but that's okay. 
Lapras definitely did a nice job right there. And it has all but secured the victory for us here in the opening match of Pika Cup for round two. And now we're just going to be able to dust it off and move on. So there's no fooling around with this. We're going to go for the Earthquake. And that's going to eliminate the Raichu as well as the Bug Boy for Battle 1. Great start so far. Absolutely fantastic start. We were able to weaken the Raichu from the very beginning with Lapras. And my strategy to save Dugtrio at the end definitely paid off right there. We don't get to continue, but we will be moving on to Battle 2 against the Lad. And we'll see what he has in store for us. He's got a Jolteon. Wow. All right, I'm opening with my level 20 Kadabra. He's opening with his Jolteon, also at level 20. And Jolteon is going to have some blazing speed right here. I'm going to switch out right now and save Kadabra. And I'm going to put in Dugtrio. And the Jolteon does go for Thunder Wave. Exactly what I wanted it to do for turn one, but we are going to get outsped. You think about how fast the Jolteon is at level 15. It's going to be a heck of a lot faster at level 20. And it's going to go for Body Slam. This thing is going to hurt if it gets going. We do get paralyzed. That will be a most likely a three hit KO, but we are able to strike back with Earthquake. We don't get a crit, but we do do some huge damage to the Jolteon right there. If we can survive another Body Slam and then get off another Earthquake, our chances of winning go up drastically, but that is not what happens. They do get a crit on the second Body Slam to take us down. And now I'm in a tough spot. Am I going to put Electabuzz in right now or go for Kadabra? I'm going to put in Electabuzz in. I'm going to put in Electabuzz, I should say. Do I want to slow it down? Or do I want to attack it? Let's see what I do here. They're going to go for Thunder Wave. So they're going to beat me to the punch here. And we are also going to go for Thunder Wave to slow down the Jolteon. Now I can go for Psychic to lower its special. Or I can go for si two Seismic Tosses essentially to knock it out. Let's see. Oh, Jolteon is not able to take advantage of its speed advantage here. So I do elect to go for Seismic Toss here. One more is going to take it down. And let's see if Jolteon can get off an, another attack. And it cannot. Two turns in a row, it becomes fully paralyzed. And one last Seismic Toss is going to take it down. Finally. And Jolteon was out there for a long time, but thankfully it was not able to do any damage to Electabuzz. So we are going into the second Pokemon at full health, even though we are paralyzed. They're going to put in Rhydon as their second Pokemon. Oh, man. Well, Electabuzz, you're my favorite Pokemon, but I'm going to have to sacrifice you right here, buddy. I'm sorry. Ooh, a high attack stat. That one Earthquake is going to take us down. We're in trouble right here. But if there's one Pokemon that I trust that can potentially pull us back, it's going to be our Kadabra at level 20. So I'm definitely looking at Ice Punch right here for super effective damage. Oh, and we do get a super effective crit. Even better. Wow. Woo. All right. We're still in this, guys. We are still in it. And they're going to put in Tangela as their final Pokemon. 
Now, if I can get a freeze or a crit right here, it's over. We get neither, but it is going to be a two shot, and they're going to slow us down with Stud Spore. Ah. And to think, if we had scored another crit, then we wouldn't have to go through this right now. But it is going to go for Bind, and this is going to last a long time, guys. So I'm going to um, cut to when this is over, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. This is going to be Tangela's last Bind right here. I definitely wanted to save you guys all that trouble. Because I think it started at close to full health. And it took us all the way down to 21. Now it's going for Mega Drain. So if we move one more time, it's over. And we do. And we get a super effective crit. I wish we had gotten that the first time. But we'll take it. And we're going to be moving on. Wow. Yeah, definitely that, uh, that crit against Rhydon. And then... Uh, Tangela deciding to go for Mega Drain when it should have used Bind the whole time and it probably would have won. But thankfully it used Mega Drain and we were able to hit Ice Punch for the win as we move on to Battle 3 against the Fisher up next. Alright, here we go. Battle 3. All right, Kadabra versus Dragonair to start. I love that color on that Dragonair. It's beautiful. Now, do I want to go for Ice Punch here and risk getting paralyzed? I decide that it is worth the risk. And we do not take it down. And they don't paralyze us, but they do go for a massive Dragon Rage. And Dragon Rage is just overpowered. It's OP in, in Pika Cup when most Pokemon have, like, not a whole lot of HP. And thankfully, of course, we survive. We don't get paralyzed. And we take out the Dragonair. So now we're awaiting the second Pokemon from the Fisher, and it's going to be Electro, the fastest Pokemon speed-wise in Gen 1. So I'm definitely going to save Kadabra for last once again. And I'm going to put in Dugtrio, level 20, so just like the Jolteon from before, it's definitely going to outspeed us. We're giving up five levels. And I want to go for Earthquake here. But Electrode is going to go for Explosion. That'll definitely take us out. No question. We are, we are terrible with HP and defense. So we're definitely going down. And the Electrode is going to take itself out. They're both down. Wow. Whew. Man. Alright, so we have, as you can see, we have Kadabra who's at low health, and Lapras, who is at full health, remaining. And I'm going to put in Lapras right here. And we're up 2-1. to one. Okay, they put in Slowbro, and our Lapras has Thunderbolt. So we do have at least an edge in terms of type coverage. We paralyze it, and we do just about half of their HP. Slowbro will... Slow us down with Thunder Wave, but we're still going to have the speed advantage. Since we are going to be faster than Slowbro in terms of base speed. And we are able to launch another Thunderbolt attack. And we are going to take out the Slowbro in two hits. Ooh, and we're going to move on. Wow. All right. Battle three in the books already. Excellent. We're off to a good start so far. We haven't had to reset yet, but just wait. Just wait. You haven't seen nothing yet, guys. I promise you. In Battle 4, we're going to have the champion, the Dragon Master Lance. The crowd's excitement is building. 
I guess I should correct myself. Lance isn't quite the champion in this game like he is in Gen 2, but he's the step before the champion here in Gen 1, but still very powerful nonetheless. I was not expecting this at all. We're going to open with Lapras. He's going to open with Dragonair. He's going to have the speed advantage, and he's going to wrap us up and basically stun lock the crap out of us. We won't be able to move here for a minute unless he decides to use a new move like the Tangela did earlier, or we switch out, or Rat misses. We are going to switch out here just to save some aggravation. Now, now this Dragonair is at level 19. So it's going to play into some tricky stuff with the level restrictions. We're going to go for a super effective crit with Ice Punch and knock out the Dragonair. Cadaver said no problem. Level 19, no problem. I love that. And now, the second Pokemon that Lance is going to have is going to be Gyarados. Good old Gyarados. Now, as tasty as Thunder Punch is looking for us, I do the right thing and save Kadabra for last. And I'm going to put Lapras in. And they're going to go for Dragon Rage. Oh, I think Gyarados is going to have the speed advantage and they're going to take us out outright. As you can see, this Gyarados is at level 16. So they have to have a level 15 after this to get to 50. Oh boy, we're in trouble. We don't know Lance's third Pokemon as of yet, which could have been a a type advantage for Lapras. So we're going to have to go in with Electabuzz. And hopefully Lance is going to stay in with the Gyarados. He is, and we should be able to knock it out. Four times super effective. And we get Stab. Easy. Easy. Alrighty. Alright, Lance. Let's see what you got. You're not doing too well, bo bro. Alright, Seedra. Alright, a water type. Yeah, this should be too easy. This should be some easy work right here. All right, we do get off a big time Thunderbolt. And once again, Siege is going to go for Dragon Rage, but it's not going to be an issue for us. The crowd is going to get excited over it, but it's not going to be an issue for us at all. We have a speed advantage as well as a type advantage, and we're going to beat Lance on the first attempt here. Oh, we made that look too easy. That's it. Lance is gone. He's history. Excellent work. Excellent work. Woo! We're halfway through the Pika Cup already. Not even 20 minutes into the video. And we are already halfway done with Pika Cup round two. But buckle your seatbelts, guys. Like I told you, you haven't seen anything yet. As we get ready for the hiker for Battle 5. Oh, Lapras versus Executor to start. Oh, level 20. Ugh. We're going to have a type advantage, but they're definitely going to have a speed advantage. And Executor is bulky. That thing is going to take multiple hits, even from a super effective Ice Beam. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh! Unless we keep getting crits. But it's not going to matter since they're going to take us out anyways. If I keep Lapras in, I'm contemplating between switching into Kadabra or just sacrificing Lapras now. And I do decide to sacrifice Lapras. It did a great job for uh, what it was able to work with right there, scoring the super effective critical on his first turn. And of course, I'm going to bring in Kadabra because we've got Ice Punch. And Executor is going to be high and special. It is going to be a beast and special. And we need to knock it out right here. Oh, and we do not. 
We do not knock it out, but it is going to go for Mega Drain, and Kadabra's pretty high special as well. So it's not going to do a whole lot there, nor is Executor going to recover a whole lot. So we can basically do whatever we want right here. We're going to go for the Seismic Toss. Nothing fancy, but it is going to get the job done in terms of knocking out the Executor early on. And that's going to force the Hiker to send in his next Pokemon. Ooh, man. It's hot and heavy right here. And they're going to put in Clefable as their number two. And we don't have any fighting moves on this team. Currently, at least for this attempt. We are going to do some big, big damage against Clefable right there with Psychic. But it's going to retaliate with a big time body slam of its own. Thankfully, we don't get critically hit or paralyzed. And it looks like one more psychic attack is going to take down the Clefable. And that is going to do it for Clefable. Ooh, man. All right. All right, one more. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Gyarados. So our second match in a row, we're going to be facing a Gyarados. The last one had Dragon Rage. Oh! Oh! One hit with Thunder Punch. I understand we have a five level advantage against it, but my goodness, man. That was hot and heavy. Whew. We're going to be moving on. Again, we clear the Hiker on the first attempt, just like we did Lance. And pretty much everybody before him at this point as we move on to the quarterfinal. Battle number six against the Burglar is up next. Alright guys, here we go. Alright. Say hello to Machamp making its first appearance in this tournament, by the way. And we're dealing with Hypno to start. This is not looking good at all. I don't know if we're going to survive a psychic attack against Hypno at level 20. So I am at a crossroads. I do decide to switch Machamp out and put Electabuzz in. But regardless of how you slice it, we're going to have some issues against this Hypno. As you can see, it's psychic attack almost one shot us. So I'm going to have to get creative here. It does outspeed. And it scores a crit. Oh, man. That one definitely threw me for a loop. I was not expecting Hypno at level 20 to outspeed Electabuzz at level 15, but that's exactly what happened. You never know. And it looks like Hypno is going to outspeed our entire team by the same token. And once again, of course, it's going to gear up for another psychic. And guys, I am staring into the face of my first reset inside of Pika Cup right now. All right, here we go. This took way more than two attempts, by the way, but I'm only including our first attempt as well as our winning attempt. And that's just going to make it easier, hopefully, for all of you, as well as for me, who's going through and editing this thing. Oh, boy, I'm at a, I'm at a loss here, but I'm going to go for Psychic. Oh, we get a crit and a special drop against the level 20 Lapras right here. They're going to go for Dragon Rage. We are going down to 23 in our health. And one more Thunder Punch or Psychic should definitely take it out with the special drop. It was huge that we got a critical on that first turn, by the way. Super effective crit, no problem. We worked our way through that Lapras like a hot knife through butter in two turns with 100 HP. Very impressive. All right, who's next? Alakazam, our evolved form, our big brother. Oh boy, and it's at level 15, so we do have a huge level advantage, as well as a speed advantage. 
we're the middle form, but we still outspeed the Alakazam. At least in terms of base speed, but we are going to get paralyzed. So we are going to lose our advantage right there. And let's see what Alakazam does. It's going to go for Psychic. It's definitely going after our special. And it's going to do 8 damage here. As long as we don't miss a turn, as long as that is what keeps happening, we still have a chance to knock out the Alakazam here. We do 20 damage since that's our level with Seismic Toss. Alright, let's see what happens here. We can survive another Psychic after this at this rate. But we're not going to need to since we are going to knock out the Alakazam here with two Seismic Tosses. Wow. A level 20 Kadabra just smoked a level 15 Alakazam. Incredible. Incredible. Alright, and with that... We've got the Arcanine that stands between us and the semifinal. So, we're going to take our lumps right here. It's going to go for Dragon Rage to polish us off. Kadabra did an outstanding job. It was in there for a long time. And it did an incredible job. Level 15 Arcanine, this is definitely winnable. Against the level 15 Doug Trio. And we are going to outspeed. We don't get a critical, but we do get a huge, huge earthquake. And we are going to survive Dragon Rage. This is not going to be a problem at all. Even then, we have an extra Pokemon in reserve, anyways. It's not going to be an issue at all. We're going to be moving on. And that's it, baby. And there goes the battle. Yes, yeah, so keep in mind, guys, I'm not going to be um, indicating how many more, how many attempts it's going to take to beat each round anymore. I'm just going to cut straight to the winning attempt and indicate that in the video moving forward just to make it easier on all of us. And with that... The last is going to be meeting us here in the semifinal. Oh boy. All right, here we go. <laughs> you thought the last was tough in the uh, base Pokemon Stadium? You need to check her out here. Because she is brutal in this. All right, she opens with Chansey. We're going for Machamp. We're going to one-shot this Chansey right here. A massive level advantage, type advantage, and it's got a base defense of 5. So we're definitely taking out the Chansey in one hit at least, but... Oh boy. It's not going to stop there. This Jinx is at level 20. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Talk about a difficulty spike. They're going to go for Lovely Kiss and put us to sleep right away. But we're going to wake up immediately. But since Jinx has the speed advantage, she can just keep doing this all day long until she knocks us out, basically. And that's definitely going to be a huge problem for us, of course. Now, I'm left having to decide if I want to leave Machamp in or switch to either Dugtrio or Gengar. So I'm going to switch out right here and save Machamp. And I'm going to put in Gengar. Now, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking Lovely Kiss is a normal type move is going to miss Ghost Pokemon, and it does miss this attempt. Now, am I going to confuse the Jinx? Or am I going to explode or go for Thunderbolt? They're going to attempt another Lovely Kiss. But guys, keep in mind, Lovely Kiss, even as a normal type attack, can hit Ghosts in Gen 1. Which is brutal. I totally forgot about this when I was playing. And, like, Jinx absolutely destroyed me on this. As you're about to see. Oh my god! Look at that raw power! Look at that raw power. We're not gonna do a single bit of damage to this thing at all. I'm just telling y'all right now, it's 
its speed is too great and its special is too great. We're not going to be able to get a hit, on, hit in at all on this Jinx. I think this Psychic is going to one-shot us. Oh, not quite. We survive at seven. And we don't get a crit. All right, so once again, I'm going to be opening with Machamp. And she's going to open with Lapras this time at level 15. Remember the first time she opened with Chansey. And we miss. Oh, my God. Machamp, you're killing me, bro. But that barely did any damage at all. Machamp, you really don't think is a special demon, but at level 20, it doesn't matter. But what it is, it is a super effective attacking demon, and it just proved it right there against this Lapras, knocking it out on one hit, just like it did the Chansey in the first attempt, attempt I should say. Clefable is next, and it's also at level 20. So I'm thinking I'm not going to have a speed advantage here at all. Yeah, they're going to go for Thunder Wave. But I'm definitely, of course, hoping for a one-shot with submission 80 power 80 accuracy so it's not great but it's all we got and it almost one shot the Clefable we took a ton of recoil right there but at least we've got it set up and they're gonna go for blizzard thankfully we don't have to worry about getting frozen since we're already paralyzed Woo! it did some good damage right there and we're gonna go for earthquake to polish off the Clefable right now and goodbye to you. Oh, man. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy, dude. Oh, my goodness. And Chansey is last, but unfortunately, we may not be in the position to knock it out right now. But Chansey goes for Seismic Toss. So if we can move and hit submission on this last turn we can definitely sweep we can sweep and we do <laughs> wow machamp is a beast dude after all the attempts that i had to do and i had to do a ton maybe at least a half a dozen until i got this winning attempt right here and i go on to actually sweep the last and get a continue back as a result of that Oh my goodness. Wow. Talk about insane. And we've got SHF in our final battle. All right, final battle. Woo. We made it. This is for all the marbles right here. So we got a level 20 star me to start. So this is not great in terms of our level disadvantage as well as our speed disadvantage. And they're going to go for surf straight up. They're going to hit us with a massive surf right there. But we are going to strike back with Thunder Wave to slow it down. And then, of course, I'm going to follow up with Thunderbolt. I definitely need a crit. I need some big, big damage against this stinking star me right here. And we do. We get a super effective crit. It does not knock it out, but it does stay fully paralyzed. And we can knock out the Starmie right here and still keep Electabuzz in the game. Wow. That is quite the turn of events right there. We do get another crit. Whew. We're going to take it down. All right, let's see who's next. It's going to be Aerodactyl. Oh, another speed demon. It's the first time we've seen an Aerodactyl here in Pika Cup. And uh, it's not going to be great for us. Too much speed. And it's got Dragon Rage. Too little amount of HP. Electabuzz is going to go down, but it did an outstanding job against Starmie there in the beginning. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to put in Lapras. And once again, I'm definitely going to need 
maybe a freeze or a one shot to uh to stay in it to be honest with you and again they're gonna carve us up with the brutal dragon rage come on lapras dig deep ah so close so close oh man they're gonna outspeed us and knock us out with dragon rage wow oh man we almost got the one shot right there with uh ice beam but we were just that much hp short now we definitely need to outspeed this aerodactyl otherwise we're in massive trouble let's see what happens all right we do outspeed it level 20 and thunder punch is going to take it down easy Wow. All right, we got one more. Can we clear this on the first attempt? All right, we got Executor. All right, Executor stands between us and the trophy. If we can get a freeze here, we win. <laughs> Woo, man. Have fun in that ice cube, Executor. Cause this is it. This trophy is ours. Super effective crit. And that's gonna clear a Pika Cup for round two. There it is right there. Our first attempt against SHF. Wow. Woo. That was awesome. That was freaking amazing. Amazing. Wow. After the troubles that I had with the last and the battle before this one, I was able to beat SHF on the first attempt. And we're going to put my favorite Pokemon into the Hall of Fame with that victory. Man, this was a great team. Absolutely fantastic team. It's definitely a best practice here in this game. Um, for those of you who don't know, to try to get as much type coverage as you can. Um, try to not repeat different types of Pokemon. I like to have different Pokemon of different types. And that's what led us to victory here. We got the trophy. And next up is going to be the Petite Cup for round two. So, uh, as you can see, we got our Pika Cup trophy to kick off the stadium portion of the Let's Play. And we're going into the Petite Cup in our next episode. And let me tell you, this is going to be another wild one coming up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more episodes, and until next time, guys, once again, thank you all so, so much for all your support on this channel and on this playthrough. I'm having a blast with the game. And with that, you guys take care. Have an excellent rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the Petite Cup.